So this quick video is gonna be on how to disassemble one of these Bissell Crosswaves. This one's cordless. This machine is also totaled. So if I accidentally damage something or break something, taking it apart, your mileage may vary. First thing, looks like all we need is just a Phillips screwdriver. Surprisingly, they don't have Torx screws on these, but we'll start with the easy things first. Brush roll and chamber removal. So you just do that, pull it out. To remove the brush roll, you just pull up on this little tab here. And there you go. Dirty water tank. Soapy water tank. So if you look here to remove your handle, you have a small button here. Just press that in. That removes the handle. So now, should you want to go any further, this is where things are going to get a little more involved. So let's say you want to get into the brush roll housing. Maybe you want to change a motor out if that's been made available. I will start off by saying these machines, as with many machines made nowadays, are not made to be taken down this far. They're not made to be taken apart this far. You break them or they break on their own, you're meant to go out and buy a brand new one. It would not surprise me if Bissell does not make small parts, motors, switches, what have you, that are inside of these machines available. That's kind of the uh, standard practice now with many different brands. But we'll go ahead and start pulling this apart. Now we should be able to pull off the top cover. We got a couple more, it looks like. Just check under these wheels. Guess that doesn't matter, anyways. That pulled it right off. So, yeah, you can see how nasty these things get, even though they're sealed. When you start introducing water to machines like these, really don't get along with it. It looks like that should be everything that's on the bottom. But just with the way that these things are pressed together, it's really obvious to me that they don't want you getting into these and trying to fix them in any way, shape, or form. Just the way that they're formed and compressed on. So should you want to replace, this is a micro water pump and the brush roll motor is inside of this little box here. I'm just gonna make it a little easier on me and just undo. These two retainers. So I can lock the machine to the side a little bit easier. This micro switch, if your brush roll chooses to not turn on or off, this is very likely your culprit. These go out all the time on sharks. Would not surprise me if they are a problem on these kinds of machines as well. So all the cabling and everything is right here for you to get to. If you need to change anything, I am scrapping this machine, so that's why I'm 
taking all this apart. Another thing that likes to go out on vacuums, especially ones that use these kinds of hoses, Tigon hoses, these become very brittle. They harden after a while. And when that happens, they crack, they break, and you have to replace them. Of course, Bissell's MO is probably gonna be, will warranty you out a brand new machine, and that's that but I would expect them to sell these. They do sell them for other machines that they have, so it wouldn't surprise me if they did make these available, but definitely check into that before you, before you go look. motor. I'm just going to break this off, but there is one more screw there. There's your motor. If you even wanted to change the belt, this is meant to be a lifetime belt, but that's how much labor there is just to change one of these out if you were to just change a belt or even a motor for that matter. But yeah, like I said, this machine is not made to be serviced. battery there are a couple more that you have to remove here so we will go ahead and cut those battery 